Once he seen Mua. Welcome back to Industries TV. And today we're gonna be talking about King Vaughn's former manager, 100K Management, and a blogger named King AK47. And last but not least, we're gonna be talking about OTF Muwa. So before we get into this video, make sure y'all smash that like button. And if y'all not subscribed to this channel, make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on. So let's jump right into this video. So the word on the street was King Vaughn's former manager, 100K, was the one snitching to the feds that got O Block taken down, according to a few other blogs that reported on that all this week now this all goes back to fbg duck getting hit up down in chicago's gold coast now while everybody was blaming king vaughn former manager 100k management for snitching the blogger by the name of king ak47 did a detailed video on who did what who was where who was related to who and who set up fbg duck and who pulled the trigger once he seen mu whopping them in the car he Turn to the nigga, man. The same nigga and see that nigga reaching for his nigga. They shot Duck and Duck shot him. How do I know this shit? I ain't gonna tell you all how I know this shit. Now that information dropped right after FBG Duck got hit up in the Gold Coast of Chicago. Now that's not all King AK-47 said. He went into even more details. From dropping names to locations to who had what and who was related to who that set FBG Duck up. FBG Duck was set up by the unknowingly. Okay, that's the end of the story, man. FBG Duck had the the dude that was with the girl that was with him is her brother. He is Moolwop's cousin. The brother, which is the dude laying on the ground with FBG Duck, set Duck the f*** up and knew it the whole time. So basically, FBG Duck got set up by the female and the dude. The dude was related to Moolwop, according to King AK-47. So who's the real snitch here, if y'all gonna call somebody a snitch? Is it King AK-47? Or is it a 100K management? I mean, let me know down below in the comment section. But moving right along. So 100K management said, King AK-47, you broke this story wanting to make me a target. At that time, you painted a false narrative, no different than what the police are doing, ironically. Some of you uneducated people, and that's me being nice, I really mean dumb MFers want to betray me as an officer. Please tell me what side to be on, since the police allegedly think I'm a suspect and legally I'm getting thrown into civil suits on the assumption of me being part of an unfortunate situation that took two of my brothers and had my other brother fighting for his life so I'm a cop that gets harassed and treated like a criminal or a criminal that's pretending to help my client and really a cop but now that y'all seen that and heard that man stroll down to that comment section tell me what y'all think about this whole situation see y'all was running with the 100k was a snitch but really, AK-47 was the snitch. You get what I'm saying? And I'm not going to say allegedly because it's video. I didn't actually put the video. I just put the audio. But that's how I do. I don't like putting other people's videos within my video. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, with that being said, man, make sure y'all smash that like button. And if y'all not subscribed to this channel, make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on. I'm out. Peace.